Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to TXP3. We have 905 Esports versus Day by Day GG. We're going on hard point, getting things started off strong. And as you can see, the players were so eager to get into game. We're starting the action outright. And Day by Day GG, they're already on point, having a strong start. 10 points already on the board for them, holding the hard point down. And now they are going to be getting some points back. 905 Esports, they're taking they're looking pretty confident now. It's perfectly tied up, but 905 Esports edging out a couple more points. Seems that these teams are very well evenly mashed up. And of course, I am going to be having the action brought to you today. I am Daniil, also known as Bears McGee, joined by... Uh, it is I, Motha is back from the beginning here, tying up loose ends, and it looks like they're tying around the loose ends of the enemy team here as Ace Slims gets a nice double kill and moves on forward, continuing the kill spree. Four streak. Four streak. Hardpoint gonna be Five. going down. Five, wow, Ace Slims, someone needs to slow down this Ace in the sleeve of... Day by day GG. And it looks like Firsty also on a 3k streak. It looks like a day by day GG. They're just on a roll. Six now, seven kill streak for Ace Libs. Those are all his first kills <laughs> of this game, too. Completely unstoppable. He's playing a roguelike permadeath mechanics. He doesn't want to go down. Eight now, unstoppable. <laughs> Unfortunately, didn't turn out to be much of an advantage wow. in terms of objective, but team's slowly bringing it back now. I feel like I'm watching a highlight reel for, for you know? day by day right now. They're just cruising all through. I mean, look at this. Oh Reddit God. and Ace Slims getting a nice double kill here. It's being in complete control of the hard point. Now, nice gunplay, but that's going to be air on Rice taking out Firsty. And now Ace Slims gets one more kill. Rook getting another double kill. Ten. Two of them on day by day. GG are just unstoppable. This is absolutely brutal, but looks like uh, we're going to be able to see 905 Esports get some work done here. They haven't been able to find a touch on this point recently, but, you know, day by day, GG, I can't really blame 905 for struggling. They are completely dominant, but finally, someone's going to take down Ace Limbs. 10 killing streak gone and forgotten. Maybe he's going to be able to take kill Rook on a 7. Maybe he's going to be able to bring it back, surpass the limits of his teammate. But forget about the kill streaks. We're looking at day by day GG trying to fight for the point. But they're going to be able to steal it right out of the jaws from 905 Esports. They were contesting it and contesting it hard, but not able to steal the deal. Ultimately, they're going to be able to fight for this hard point. They're going to establish a lot of control. Reddit's going to lose to that gunfight. Repercussion's going to win that one. And now, 20 seconds left. I don't think you want to commit too much on the side of 905 Esports try to take this one back you want to start playing for the next one it's like you're gonna want to start playing for the next one can't keep contesting these gunfights especially when they keep landing these shots I mean look at Ace Slims oh, he got shut down a little while ago but he's right back in the saddle again continuing this <laughs> death ride through the enemy team Reddit Ooh. though getting one kill rock getting another on the spree size sees two but Aaron Rice is gonna take him out now day by day GG already on that bottom hard point 905 Esports slowly making their way over but it's a 2v1 situation and the one has a really, really, really advantageous position to hold repercussions, throwing out the nades with uh, side help from Asus, but uh, not really going to go their way. Reddit's going to be able to take down Charisma, but repercussions going on the flank. He's going to get spotted out from behind that van, but thankfully they were able to establish the control that they were looking for, found their way to the point, but it's immediately going to get stolen right back. Reddit is holding down the sight line, and wow. he's going to downvote Charisma into <laughs> an early grave. 20 points remaining off of this hard point. Once again, you don't want to commit too hard. You want to try to fight for the next one if you're on 9-5 Esports, I believe. Yeah, it's going to be tough, though. They're over 100 points ahead right now, day by day, just utterly leading this game. Aaron Rice getting a one, but, you know, when the kill feed's mostly blue, it's just so hard to keep up. I mean, look at Aces trying to hold this one, camp this one out, but day by day knows where he is. They've seen him three times now. It looks like Ace Slim's going to peek him out, and he doesn't win the gunfight, though. Ace is taking a nice long while to winning that one out. Now Firsty on the surge right now. Repercussions looking to live up to his name, but first he's going to shut him down. You know, I'm not calling them gunfights anymore. These are duels. These are honorable <laughs> duels, and sometimes you enter a duel by sliding in, jumping, and doing a 360, just like Asus trying to win the duel with Kill Rook, but unfortunately not this time. Back on another five killing spree. Maybe he's going to be able to carry this one through as he keeps hopping back and forth on that hard point, getting those kills. It's looking immaculate. One thing I can definitely notice from 905 Esports right out of the gate so far, they're not uh, making those hard 
commitments like most teams do when it comes to the points. A little more disparate and spread apart, and I think that's what's giving Day by Day GG the advantage in these holds. Yeah, Day by Day playing a little bit more fluid here, just diving in and out. Still getting a lot of points. They're taking it slow, though, making sure to just control the kills mainly. But now, 905 getting two kills. This could be the moment they need, but Reddit getting one right back. Goes to trade. Now things are looking good. A trade once again, but Kill Rock turns into a double. Can he get a triple? No, he gets shut down. But still, just look at the plays coming out from day by day. They are just utterly in control this entire match. Slowly approaching, not even slowly, rapidly approaching the 200 mark and already shattering at 201. Looks like 905 Esports. They have a lot of work cut out for them if they have a hope of winning this game again. Already firstly hearing them making the mark up. He's going to take the initiative and take them down. Day by day, GG. Only a few more points remaining before they can claim victory on this map. Precisely, they need 30 points left now. I'm not going to be able to get that just from this hard point alone. They're going to have to be, they're going to be guaranteed to be fighting for at least control of one more. 905 Esports going to be getting the scrap points on this one. Actually, not even because uh, Kill Rook going to be able to get those long range takedowns and make it so that they're not even going to be able to get those exchanges. Hard points up. 905 Esports already on it. Can they hold this one and get the points that they desperately need. Exactly. Can they get those points? I mean, it's going to be hard with Kill Rock getting a kill from the sky. And now they're still not in control, though. They need to get on this hard point. Victory is within sight, but it's still going to be a long climb back here. Reddit moving in. First, you're going to get a kill as well. Last one standing. Trade comes out, but it's not going to be enough. It's clear they have enough time to hold it down, but someone needs to be on the point and they get a man on the point. And now 905 has the odds stacked against them. They have have to make it through, but it's going to be tough to get a double kill. This is their chance. Try and flip things around. They're in control. Day by day, looking desperate here to just finish this one out. But there's still three minutes left in the game. It looks like 905 is going to stay in control that much longer. And that control is hopefully going to buy them another hard point. But 905, 10 seconds left. They're going to get the scrap points on this one. Day by day, GG already in the AO for the next hard point. Can they establish strong control of it? Again, they're not far from victory. Just about 20 points remaining. 20 seconds on the hard point. Charisma is going to win that duel over against Ace Slims, the deadliest man on the screen right now. Kill Rook coming around the corner. He sees the nade. That's a moment to strike, but eventually it's going to explode. Take him out. That was a very good cutaway. Love that. Very comical. Sliding in. Aaron Rice to get kicked down by Ace Slims. And just two seconds remain. Day by day, GG. Take game one over 9 to 5 East sports and I gotta say Matthias that looked convincing that was definitely as convincing as it could get that was nearly a 200 point lead by the end of it and I just I'm wowed by day by day it's for something casting over them here today and I gotta say things are looking up for them they're looking to take this one 2-0 2-0 seems to be what they're aiming for here. And with aim that good, aim exactly 30 to 11 on your KD. Not Unfortunately, not a single member on 905 Esports was able to come out positive on that game. That's just how they were able... That's just goes to show how they were able to completely dominate and establish control of that map on the side of Day by Day GG. Getting so many cleared kills, basically uncontested very hard to get kills or come out positive if you're facing a team like that. Yeah, it's so hard to get kills, especially when they're manipulating your spawns like that. Like, they even gave up some hard points earlier on in the game, or, like, during the game, just so they could keep the pressure up, keep chasing those kills, and then, you know, there's also the psychological aspect of that, where you're like, True. I just want to play the game, and a guy keeps running around the corner, sliding in, taking me out. You just got to give props for day by day. They played that one perfectly. They were in control of the match the entire time. Absolutely, and just besides, you know, obviously the duels they were winning consistently, just winning those one-on-one -on -one engagements. For sure, I think there was a lot of tactical um, play going on as well under the hood for Day by Day GG. You know, like you mentioned, I can't say for certain, you know, if Zara was here, I'd pick his brain about it. But even things like playing around the spawns and mm -hmm. manipulating control, like you mentioned, um, I'm sure so much of that played in the team's success. And unfortunately, none of five esports wasn't able to really come up with an answer on how to counteract that overwhelming force that they were really putting on them. I think that just goes to show the respawn game modes. If you have the overwhelming pressure and you know you can confidently take those gunfights, mm. you're just going to throw your body at it because you're not going to lose Ooh. much if you lose, right? You keep betting on that and 
the loss is just, you know, five seconds off the hard point, maybe, if you die. So now going into this no respawn game with Search and Destroy, I think things are going to be on a little bit more even ground going forward. It's still going to be very tough because you can definitely see that tact tactical muscle being flexed by day by day. I believe 905 is going to have a better chance here going into S&D. Yeah, maybe they, maybe they just hate having extra lives. Maybe they play well under pressure, you know, only having one life to work with. It'll change my mentality. Maybe it'll change 905 Esports. Here we are on the next map, Search and Destroy. Day by day, GG versus 905 Esports at TXP3. Anything else I can mention? Not quite as AMD. Slims. AMD, hey, and it <laughs> rhymes too. See, that's why you're here. Maybe you don't know all the strats for COD like Zarin might, but hey, you can point out AMD, and I can also point out the first blood going on repercussions. Going to be the first person to go down here. Bombs planted by Day by Day GG. Aaron Rice spotting out Ace Limbs, but not able to get the kill, and basically just alerting to him of his position. Red is going to be able to take out Ace Limbs in the meantime. First, he's going to take down Aaron Rice. While he's running away, Charisma, last minute standing for 905 Esports, getting wow. flanked out Day by Day GG, winning round one very fast. Very probably. quickly, yeah. yeah. Very quickly, 905 not able to get much footing here. And that just gets to show this map very tricky. Very open areas, very hard mm. to put the bomb down. As long as day by day is confident to win these gunfights, they can just stand here on the high ground, wait for them to come to them, and then shoot them down before they can get those bombs in place. Yeah, now we're heading into this next round. Six seconds remaining. Is there anything that 905 Esports can do on the attacking side to try to show any signs of life? On that hardpoint map, they really did not have any moments to kind of shine or play their game. They were really playing off the back foot the entire time. Not looking great for them right now as Asus, first man down of this round. Not shortly after, Charisma is going to be next to fall. Day by day, GG, establishing a strong lead once again. And on the scaffolding, Repercussion's gonna go down against Ace Limbs, a very close quarters duel, gonna get lost out. Really might have had better luck pulling out his machete. And wow. last man going down, 905 Esports. Day by day, GG, taking the next one. Yeah, day by day on the defense, but it looked more like an offense. They're just going out hunting because they're that confident. I mean, why not? You have so much momentum going in from the last game. And look at that. He, two of them pincered. He was tracking them, luring them into his foe. And that was just a guaranteed kill right there at the end. Day by day, just once again, being so utterly dominant. Renetti in hand, you know, you can do a lot of things with the Renetti, but Winning a round is the least of them, and it seems that day by day, GG establishing they can win on offense, establishing they can win on defense. They just need to do it four more times in a row if they want to make this a 6-0. And I think that if any matchup is going to go this way we've seen today, I think it just might be this one, as I haven't seen much more one-sided gameplay. Unfortunately for Reddit, however, he's going to get spot up by repercussions as he was climbing around, maybe doing a little bit of a sneaky flank, a little too cheeky, but Killbrook Ooh. almost fell off there, coming around the corner. He's going to win the duel against Aces. Maybe that's, that was a planned fall. You know, maybe he wanted to make some noise. Yeah, a little slip up there, but he saved it. And maybe that was just the delay he needed to get that kill. <laughs> and now things are looking not great on either side. It's 3v3. Both players down. It's relatively even. If there's a round to win, 905 could win this one. Need to try and play around this one very carefully. Kill Rook up in the top. Ooh. Gets a kill like a Rook. Straight lines with those bullets. Charisma getting down a Slims. It's a 2v2 situation. Look at the jump he has on him. Misses the bullets though. Oh! Oh! He away. Like no! a Looney Tunes chase. He's going to go down potentially. He's very, very low. But hiding behind the conveniently shaped AC unit, he gets out. First, he's going to get one. Now it's a 1v2. 1v1 situation. 13 seconds left on the clock. Run for your There's life. There's a big chase going on. He's going with the Renetti kill, and he gets it. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> that play from Killbrook, I was so ready to make some MLG calls. Like I was going to start singing this song. Like, oh, oh, do you really need anyone else? But, um, hey, you know, first he brought it back with that jump shot. Very well done. And I, I got to say, Killbrook over there, that was, that was really funny. That was Just really funny. Down. <laughs> Shooting everywhere <laughs> but the guy. Painting um, a perfect outline. That just goes to show. You <laughs> cannot always hit your shots. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, this game's harder than it looks. Rest assured, if that moment doesn't show you, I don't know what would convince you. But hey, they won it out in the end, and now they're halfway through this S&D match, and they are just cruising on through halfway through this. Now 5 needs to get some footing here soon. They, are, they seem to be finding it, you know, but 
you want your footing to be something solid, nothing like sand. And it seems maybe this wow. foundation of an advantage was built in a sand castle. Day by day, GG, just one man standing, but he is going to be able to move silently, ninja style, ready to avenge his fallen clan. Does he have any jutsus up his sleeve to help him come out on top here? He's going to use gun no jutsu coming out onto the site, taking down air on rice. Two men left, 50 seconds. Even so, I got smoke bomb. This guy is really committing to the ninja bit, huh? You're right. He's so going in once again. Going like a a with the back stab with the bullets. Oh, God. Gun no jutsu is really working effectively. It's just one by one. They're picking up the bomb, trying to plant it, and then dying. Can this happen once again? Repercussions is right behind him. Does he know? Does he know? Will he find out the hard way? I don't know. Where's repercussions? Completely missing each other. I swear this is Tom and Jerry leaked footage. This is absolutely astronomical the way they're playing around each other right now. But you got to recognize at some point, maybe, okay, this is going to be the moment. I don't know if you get to hear the plant, but he's got to know now. Plant's gone down. He's on A. Can you find him? Yes, you wow. can! And just like that, the 3v1 victory. Someone's got to be yelling at someone right now. If this is a real Call of Duty land. Hey, maybe. If not before, maybe you are now. That's going to be another round for Day by Day GG. Clean and easy. Yeah, very clean around. And like you said, like a ninja, he pulled that Whoa. one out from the brink. It was what? A 1v3, 1v4 situation? 3v1. 3v1. Absolutely insane. The smoke bomb sinking around with that dead silence really saved everything. And I cannot believe they did not pass each other once. He was facing behind him like three <laughs> times, but he never checked the left. Oh, uh, that's what you love SD for is those zany Tom and Jerry moments. Hey, buddy, feel free to use that in your highlight reel, okay? because <laughs> that was a sick play. But uh, I'm very excited to see what they're going to have cooking up for us the next time. Day by day, GG on the attacking. Again, even when they were playing defense, I kind of, I, I didn't really recognize that they were playing defense that round because I felt like they were on the attacking side. Of course, going to have to go for the defuse. But now they have the initiative. They have to play into 9 to 5 esports. And maybe this will change things up a little bit. Maybe give 9 to 5 esports the advantage they need. But first, he's going to find a missile that he earned in a previous life. Reddit's going to take down Charisma from the back. First, he with the pistol shots through the stairs. Taking down Aaron Rice. He didn't even have a chance. 4 to 1 here. Repercussions. Hopefully not going to find any of his own here. He wants to really get away out of this scot-free. Not face the consequences of any of his actions. And Unfortunately, Ooh. Repercussion is going to find him right in the back, and day by day, GG, one point away from a complete and total skunk. Yeah, this is looking like a sweep for day by day. 905 and needed to find their footing a little bit earlier on, just unable to do so. It's day by day, I mean, if there's any round to win, it was the last one, but it just did not go their way. Couldn't find that last ninja. And now, it's going to be four more ninjas here on the team of Day by Day. They're going to come out of the shadows here, go full Ooh. force, full forward into this site. They have to play the defense, though, but I know Day by Day is going to play this aggressively. They don't really have much of a choice. I mean, they know that they are... Gotta say, they're probably just the stronger team here. Oh, and team kill. I think that, I don't think they're too worried about that one. I feel like he, he knew where he was doing with that nade. I, I feel it. Where else would that nade have gone? And uh, maybe didn't want to tell his teammate about that nade he was throwing out. Who knows? But we'll chalk that one up to an accident for insurance reasons here. And uh, especially on a construction site, I can imagine, imagine a better reason. But first, he taking out one, but that's going to be the first round going to 905 Esports. Explosive round indeed. Hey, you never know. Maybe pride cometh before the fall for day by day. Take it a little easy on your opponents. Get a team kill here and there. Maybe this is what 905 needs to get their head back in the game. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see what they got cooking up for us. 905 Esports finding their first round, their first real success in this entire series. But I'm confident that as long as they really pull things together, they're playing as a team, they're playing as a squad focused, ready to go. They might be able to pull through, make something work here as we head into this potentially final round of this series. Let's see if they can make this work. Util's coming out, not going to hit their teammates in the back this time. Ace Slims kind of doing some parkour here. Mirror's Edge 3, question mark. <laughs> I don't think so, but Ace Slim's trying to find an opening for his team. He's holding the bomb, so it's a little risky. If he goes down, that's going to be an exposed one for a squad. But from the back, Aaron Rice taking him down. Kill Rook going to get the revenge kill. It's a 3-3 three three situation now, trying to fight for control of the bomb. 
fighting for control of the bomb and not really getting it as now two on day by day gg are all that's left but now they get two right back it's a 2v or 1v2 a 1v1 situation as now 905 comes up from behind and gets another win Absolutely. They uh, didn't even bother checking their corners. They were just running through that corridor without a concern in the world. Like you see, <laughs> one after the other lands to the slaughter. The firsty taking his, or getting his life taken by Charisma heading into this next round. Maybe not a five on their way back. Maybe. You never know. Maybe it was just you need that confidence. You need that first win to take the pressure off. But I don't think any pressure is taken off as they need to keep on winning. They need to play perfect. They want to keep themselves alive in this series. They need to try and win this one decisively. Cannot let up off the gas just yet. Uh, I mean, you want to let off the gas when you're going around some corners at some points, but then you want to hit it right back. And I think that might be the moment day by day, GG, maybe just easing off the gas a little bit to get around this rough corner. As they can tell that 905 Esports is really kind of finding their way back to this series. But Killbrook, oh, I thought he um, ended up losing out on that kill there, but he isn't going to find it even after taking a nade to the face. But throwing out some nades of his own now, just giving him some cover, some breathing room to work with. Despite the smoke that it causes, he can breathe. His, he can, his lungs can filter it out, but Killbrook going to lose that duel pulling out the worst possible moment firsty versus aaron rice it's one to one here who's coming out on top yes yeah, anybody's question here aaron rice does have the bomb and now it looks like firsty is looking for him they're both looking for each other they just want to play a gunfight to end this one out an honorable duel to try and end the series potentially but right now it looks like Aaron Rice might take this opportunity to plant the bomb. He's halfway across the map. First he has an angle and he gets the kill. That's gonna be day by day. GG taking this one in a clean sweep. Uh, a cleanish sweep, you know, two little dirty dust mites left on the screen, but ultimately day by day GG gonna come out on top and again come out on top very convincingly. He knows what he was doing there, but just waiting for the right moment to strike and taking it out, ending it pretty simply. Excellent game coming from Day by Day GG and 9 of 5 Esports. Hard fought battle. Hard fought battle indeed. That's going to be Day by Day GG taking this one 2 0, winning the best of three and getting another point here in this round robin tournament we got going on. Yeah, and this, uh, I think this is the second last round of round robin before we really see who's going to be coming out and going into the next day. So. Things are kind of heating up a little bit. Stakes are getting higher, and you really want to try to clean up your gameplay because a lot can be potentially on the line. But like we said, honestly, that was just a very classic Call of Duty matchup. Not a lot to really even think about there. Day by day, GG just kind of had 905 Esports number in like really every respect. Yeah, every respect. They just knew where they were at, and they just knew how to control the mm -hmm. pacing of the game. They knew where to pick those spawns. They knew where to place their men to see have the right angles and hold off those choke points. And day by day, just had the tactic, it, tactical advantage over 9 5 and the gunfight advantage. So just went their way in the end, you know, in a big way. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, like, it, they won. They, they did win, so more or less, it, how, it wasn't a big way. And uh, even speaking of big ways, we're going to have a big way more action. <laughs> Trying to make that one work. You don't always get them, but ladies and men, what we will always get is more Call of Duty action. See, I got it. I got it. I still got it. Coming up after a quick break, and we're going to be seeing some more teams fighting for their lives in TXP 3 Day 1, hoping they can make it to Day 2. Exactly. We'll see you then.